Mental illnesses are generally confusing for the people affected by them, their clinicians, and their families. There isn't a brain scan or blood test that can tell you if there's a neural circuit in your brain that isn't firing quite like it's supposed to. The process of matching up emotional or thought experiences to brain function is tricky, even for the best clinicians. This is true for any brain condition, but borderline personality disorder is one of the most challenging to identify and understand. The name itself isn't descriptive of, well, anything, so we'll just call it BPD. If that wasn't confusing enough, people who live with BPD sometimes also experience depression, anxiety, post-traumatic stress, substance abuse, and eating disorders. It can be really hard to sort out the different conditions and map out a road to recovery. When trying to understand mental illnesses, it helps to start with the brain. Recent neuroscience research by Dr. Anthony Ruoko and colleagues published in the Journal of Biological Psychiatry suggests that BPD stems from dysfunction in two of the neural systems that govern emotional regulation. As described in the article, the first step is centered in specific limbic structures and may heighten the intensity of negative emotions. The second system, based primarily in the frontal brain regions, may inadequately regulate those emotions. To simplify, BPD appears to be a brain condition characterized by excessive, overwhelming negative emotions and an inability to regulate those emotions. Dr. Ruoko and his colleagues describe BPD as the perfect storm of emotional dysregulation. The emotional dysregulation issues in the brain lead to BPD symptoms that may include extreme reactions, including panic, depression, rage, or frantic actions to abandonment, whether real or perceived, a pattern of intense and stormy relationships with family, friends, and loved ones often veering from extreme closeness and love to extreme dislike or anger. Distorted and unstable self-image or sense of self, which can result in sudden changes in feelings, opinions, values, or plans and goals for the future. Impulsive and often dangerous behaviors, such as spending sprees, unsafe sex, substance abuse, reckless driving, and binge eating recurring suicidal behaviors or threats, or self-harming behavior, such as cutting, intense and highly changeable moods, with each episode lasting from a few hours to a few days, chronic feelings of emptiness and or boredom, inappropriate intense anger or problems controlling anger, having stress-related paranoid thoughts or severe dissociative symptoms, such as feeling cut off from oneself, observing oneself from outside the body, or losing touch with reality. While these symptoms are challenging, there is light on the horizon. As described by Dr. John Gunderson of Harvard Medical School, the symptoms of BPD usually diminish as a person ages. Dr. Gunderson further states that unlike other psychiatric diagnoses, those who do go into remission from BPD usually don't relapse. There have been tremendous advances in BPD specific therapies like dialectical behavioral therapy, DBT, that have proven to increase the brain's ability to regulate emotions. The path to recovery from BPD requires effective treatment and a lot of hard work. It's not an easy journey, but brave men and women are taking it every day. Find out more at www.namimt.org. Thank you.